Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, all of my beautiful friends from the internet. I hope each and every single one of you is doing absolutely spectacularly on this fine Tuesday morning or whenever you happen to be listening to this podcast episode, whether that be morning, whether that be evening, or the afternoon, or whether that be into the deepest, darkest depths of the night. Welcome to the Reddit Asks Us podcast, the podcast where we read and react to comments from r slash ask reddit. I am your host, Luke Dick. Now remember, if you're listening to these, this podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever else you get your podcast, please, please, I'm begging, I'm begging you, please, sir, please, would you leave us a rating and also leave us a review? It helps out the show immaculately. So thank you. Please go ahead and leave us a rating and review wherever you happen to be listening to your podcast episodes. You can respond to this week's Reddit question by going to the description of the episode in Spotify, hitting that, and you should be able to comment down below, and I'll read those comments out loud on the next week's following episode. This is an ad-supported show, so we'll take an ad break right after reading the uh, responses, and then uh, we'll take another ad break about like 20 minutes in the show after that. And uh, go ahead and join our subreddit, r slash reddit asks us on reddit, so please go ahead and join the subreddit where we can talk all things podcast related. All right, now that we got all that boring stuff out of the way, why don't we read out the responses from last week's episode? So last week's episode was also, it's just tending to be <laughs> more and more comments that don't necessarily answer the question, which is totally cool. You don't have to answer the question. Even if you just want to re- say, comment something, I'll read it out loud as long as it's not like um, hate driven. <laughs> as long as it's not just uh, absolutely roasting the crap out of me. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to just put myself on a on a, you know, I don't know if I'd want to flame myself on my own show like that. Um, anyways, anyways, the first one, so last week's episode was, what disgusting secret did you find out from somebody? Uh, first comment comes from uh, Dusty, and this is for the Would You Rather. By the way, our Would You Rather from last week was, would you rather speak every language or have internet vision? So Dusty says, for the Would You Rather, I'd rather take internet vision if it was like a uh, HUD slash PIP boy from fallout and if possible to pause the game slash time around me while on said menu screen for the prompt i had a former friend who moved and the next school year i found out he did some disgusting things to a female friend of mine oh geez if i were to find this out earlier i definitely would have dropped him way sooner well i hope so (laughs) the weird kid from the last story supposedly did uh did stuff to two girls that were younger than him also, I started driver's ed. <laughs> this is quite a comment. <laughs> okay. It's like, yeah, you know, I, I found out this be really terrible things about this person I used to go to school with and pretty reprehensible actions that, I, you know, it's, it's just, just kind of just haunting and traumatizing. And uh, by the way, I started driver's ed. So in case, you know, anyone needs a ride, I will be able to give you a ride in about a year. <laughs> so... Thought I'd just put that out there. <laughs> I'm just making fun, Dusty, though. Uh, I love the comment. Thank you so much for commenting. Um, and I just I just thought that was really funny. And I'm glad you're starting Driver's Ed. That's pretty sick, actually. I, I remember being really nervous when I started Driver's Ed, and then I realized, oh, wow, this is like, I don't need to be worried about this at all. They will give their license to anyone, which is probably not the best thing, but it is a reality of the world in which we live. Um... Next one comes from Hudson. Again, this is so funny. Yo, how are you doing? Slash, how's the pod going? Haven't been here in a while. Hope you're doing all right. Well, I'm glad you're back. Um, I'm doing good. Yeah, I'm doing fine. The podcast is doing all right. Um, it's it's pretty. You know, we got the we got all of our beautiful friends from the internet who try who tune in and, um, which is always awesome. But yeah, I'm doing I'm doing great. So thanks for <laughs> thanks for asking. Um, next one comes from a special little cat. Actually, the topic, this, a topic, this happened today. So my friend came up to me during lunch and told me that her friend that got mad at her for talking shit was lied to by my other friend that I just met. Guys, I'm in a pickle because I want to tell this other guy, uh, since I want to tell this other guy since they're friends, but I also don't want to destroy the friendship. Oh, that's kind of a tough one. But at the end of the day, it's like that person's that your friend is going to get screwed over eventually by that thing. And you're not doing a bad thing by letting someone else know that someone's a piece of shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. That's I, I feel like that's pretty good. in like in, in my book, like, would you rather have that person, you know, figure that out on their own and kind of 
discover, oh yeah, my best friend is a total backstabber, somebody who I di- very much dislike and have that situation kind of very much center and focus on them or, you know, would you rather kind of take the take the bullet, you know, take the brunt of the uh, of the force there on that one. I, I, you know, that's up for you to decide, but I really don't think there's a whole, there is a really big, I know this is like a stupid thing nowadays. People are like, oh, don't snitch. You can't snitch. If someone's a piece of shit, I'm like, what, what loyalty do I have to you? Like, I, I don't understand where my loyal, I'm not going to get cuffed behind my back. If I let somebody else know that you're a terrible person, like this is not, this is not the mafia. Next one comes from L Dude. It's the middle of the night and I woke up to police lights outside. Like in a police chase and now there was screaming outside. I'm preparing myself mentally for potentially getting murdered. Well, I very much hope that you did not get murdered. That would be very unfortunate uh, news. So I am expecting a comment from you this week, L Dude, on this on this podcast episode. So you you better be responding. So I hope everyone's okay, okay in that situation. And the last one here comes from Ghost. Was on Luke? Great episode. I found out my buddy's biological dad used to work in the White House as a janitor. No clue when, but he won't say. Great episode. Uh, great episode. Work sucks. Oh, well, stay ghostly. Yeah, work. Oh, yeah, work is not. Yeah, no one. No one. I don't think really anybody's just super pumped to get back to work. I got school tomorrow and I'm I'm already dreading it. And I'm not even at school. I'm literally just in my bedroom recording this podcast right now. And I'm already thinking, oh, I don't want to go to school tomorrow. <laughs> um, I don't really understand how that's a disgusting secret unless you look down very much upon janitors. That would be kind of, I don't know. I don't know their ghost. Uh, if, if, you're a, if you're a janitor hater, like, yeah, I found this disgusting secret about somebody. Somebody's bro's a freaking janitor. <laughs> Listen, man, I, I I just don't know if we can be boys like that anymore. I really don't know if we can be tight like that because, I mean, you're a nice guy and, you know, you 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 jumped in front of that that car for me the other day that almost hit me and, you know, you 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 drove my mom to the hospital and she was having a heart attack. But I don't know, man. I just I don't know if I can get over the fact that you're you're a, I can't even say it. It's in it sanitation worker oh i just can't even something about it i just can't even oh my god i'm i'm (laughs) how could you not tell me no i'm just poking fun uh but that that is an interesting secret to learn about somebody all right we're just gonna read off the would you rather so the last week's would you rather was again like i said before would you rather speak every language or have internet vision from a 62.5 percent to 37.5 percent uh, lead with the 62 was every language with which i thought was interesting it was like you know could you not ha- almost have every language if you have internet vision use chat gpt i don't know maybe there's some something authentic about like actually being able to know the language that seems pretty cool but i feel like i'd also be very interested in like i also yeah i, mean, I don't know maybe my brain would be rotting from having internet vision even more than it already is because i'd just be like scrolling on instagram reels the whole time and i'd just be like it's like if you guys have ever seen that episode of black mirror where the guy gets stuck in the game and then he just dies that's kind of me i think i'd just be like spaced out just drooling sitting in my chair Uh, you know not able to i like lose all my like what is it called muscle muscle atrophy or whatever i lose all muscle mass and just become a blob sitting in my chair, just <laughs> laughing over and over again to just stupid Instagram reels. That sounds like a horror movie. All right, uh, we're gonna read off the "Would You Rather," take a short break, and then we'll be back with this week's "Would You Rather," uh, this week's episode. So, uh, the "Would You Rather" for this week is: Would you rather sleep on a bed made of honey, or always take a shower in hot chocolate? I, oof, this one is a tough one. I really don't know. So, would you rather sleep on a bed made of honey? Or always take a shower in hot chocolate. Let the let the people decide. All right, we're gonna take a short break, and we'll be back with this week's episode. RH, quer saber como voar no trabalho? É só usar a Flash. Com a Flash, você concentra toda a gestão de pessoas em um único lugar. Faça a admissão dos colaboradores e solicite mais de oito categorias de benefícios. Ah, e você ainda pode fazer todo o controle de ponto. 
Conheça o novo onboarding integrado da Flash em flashapp.com.br. All right, folks. Welcome back to another iteration of the Reddit Asks Us podcast, the podcast where we read and react to comments from r slash ask Reddit. This week's episode, as you can clearly see from the episode title, is what is the pettiest reason you wouldn't date someone? You know, I thought I was like a petty. I, you know, I feel like there are some comments in this. There are a couple, you know, like a big red flag for me. I don't know if I wouldn't date somebody. But this is so near and dear to my heart that if I found out that somebody didn't like this, I think I might be pretty heartbroken. But if you don't like, like actively dislike ketchup, bro, I don't know. I just don't know if we can make it the make it the long. I don't know if we can make it through the long haul. Like, I just don't know if we would be able to pull through to the end of that relationship without rocky roads coming up ahead. Like, it's literally the most universally accepted condiment. It, it it doesn't cl- it doesn't claim to be more than it is, you know, and it's never less than it is. It is exactly what you expect. It's ketchup. If someone said they didn't like ketchup, bro, I don't. I just couldn't see myself getting on one knee for that. I don't know. I'm just joking. But anyways, first one comes from Small Hat eighty forty nine. This girl was beautiful, driven, intelligent. We got along well. She was perfect, except for the fact that she would snap her fingers when any, <laughs> when someone, when whenever someone would say something she liked. Every conversation peppered with snaps. She'd do it instead of applauding at concerts too. Eventually, I realized that this could not be my life. So it just was. How long did it take you before you realized it wasn't a phase? Like was it was it like six months, a year? You were talking to this girl. You know, you were just like you were dating, and it's just. Like, I just, like, what if they're in, like, what if they're in, like, a business meeting? It's like, yeah, so, um, I just want to say that our quarterly earnings for the past, uh, for the past quarter, actually, have, uh, have, have exceeded expectations, so we're, we're really, she's like, yeah, yes, absolute purr, okay, that is yes, girl energy, okay, we need to bring up the vibes. Thank you, everybody. She's like, you're, she's like, <laughs> she's the one leading the meeting. She's like, so everybody, I just want to say quarterly earnings are up. Okay. No one's getting fired. No one's getting fired this quarter. Yeah. And also I got a promotion. So I'm going to be y'all's bosses, bosses. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like. That would not be the energy to, you know, like I just she's especially when you have to deliver hard news and make it seem like it's like a okay thing. You know, she's like, so your job performance hasn't been great. So we are concerned and I think it's time that we that we are going to institute a couple company layoffs, but the bright side is, is you're going to have a pretty okay severance. Yes. It's like, but okay. But the severance, like, but I don't have a job though. Like I'm not, I don't have a job. Like I'm out, I'm out of work. Yeah. That's like not what we were looking forward to, but here is a 50% off to Olive Garden. Yes. Go take yourself and treat yourself, okay? It's time to pamper yourself. And we also got you a 70% off discount at the hair and nail salon. Now, I know that that's not really your thing. So, honestly, I'll just take it off your hands. Don't even worry. Yeah, that I... I Instead of applauding at concerts is crazy. Like, just clap. Like, it's, it's, the, it's this, we've been, we've been clapping. Like, don't try to do your own thing at a concert. I just don't, like, you know what I mean? Don't try to do your own unique, you know, I'm going to snap because I'm like different than everybody. It's, we've been clapping for, for like 200 plus years, probably. I don't, I don't really know how long we've been clapping at awards, probably forever, Okay, honestly, this is we've been probably clapping since we were cavemen. It's tried and true. All right, it works really well. It's 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 effective. It gets the people going. You know, it's not overly, you know, no one no one claps hella aggressive. You know what I mean? It's 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 not 
it's not it's not it, it's difficult to have like a a, a mean spirited clap. You know what I mean? Claps usually. I mean, you can have the slow evil clap, which is you know, but that's usually reserved for movie villains, um, you know, actors. Stuff like that, maybe actually real psychos. If you ever happen to one in, run into one of those people, you know, the CEO type person, you know, that's kind of who we're reserving that type of thing for. But you don't have to go and do your own. Like no one's, you're not special with the snaps. It's like, yeah, I'm just, you know, I just express myself differently. I appreciate the show differently than everybody else here does. Okay, no one appreciates the show like I do. So to show my appreciation. I'm going to do something a little different. And I think, I think, I just think if I'm feeling the right energy, I'm going to be up on stage. Like, like she's going to invite me up on stage and I'm going to start snapping with her. No, please, please don't, please don't do this. We, we have clapping. We, we, it's, it's, we've been having it. We need, no, we don't need anything new. We don't need to add anything to the repertoire. Um, next one comes from straight uh kick 5824 oh my god my time to shine i was dating this sweet boy and he was like i do an amazing amazing beavis impression from beavis and butthead and then he was right he did he was so spot on that i just realized he looked exactly like beavis blonde kind of squinted a little overbite this sounds racist why does this sound racist like this sounds I think you should have really reworded this. This is sounding like some terrible, most egregious stereotyping right now. Um, a little overbite, and after that, I was done. I felt guilty about it and told told them it was my grandmother's fault. I I was your grandmother's fault. I don't understand how. <laughs> what? It was your grandmother's fault. I, how is it your grandma's fault that you broke up with your boyfriend? Like I don't. It's just. How did how are we connecting these dots here? It's like yeah, if there's anyone you should really be mad at for breaking up with you, it's totally my grandma. Like she is just that pesky grandma. She said, "Listen, if you don't break up with that boyfriend of yours, no more, no more sweets when you come over to my house. No more bowls of candy on the on on the on the coffee table. All right, no more." No more, no more lemonade at grandma's house if you don't break up with that beavis-looking boyfriend of yours. I don't... How did these dots get connected? I, like, I don't understand where the grandma has to come in to this particular situation. And this is... That's... I mean... That's kind of a tough one. I mean, he... So, when he was doing the impression, he just didn't... He just was doing a impression of himself... Like, he was just kind of, he was just being himself, and that turned you off. <laughs> it's like, man, that's that that's dating nowadays. It's like, yeah, I really get frustrated when, yeah, this, is, <laughs> this, is, this is such a, oh my god, this is so dating nowadays. People will, you know, it's all, we've been sending these messages to, you know, down to people all, all these years, you know, be yourself, you know, the most important thing is you can be is authentic, and don't try to be somebody you're not and you know next thing you know you know he was fine but i think it just he was he was himself and that just turned me off like it's like fine i get it you're you okay like why don't you try gaslighting all right why don't you try being toxic that's modern relationships for you you will never get a girlfriend unless you manipulate them all right into thinking that they didn't that you didn't cheat on them this is the only way this is how dating works nowadays how else am i supposed to be intrigued this is for men and women this i'm not even just trying to pick on any particular gender here or anything or or not limiting to men and women however you identify this is this is humans this is just all people right now this is just the dating culture yeah just she was great, man. Like, she was awesome. Like, I really, really had a great time. It's like, dude, that's great. I'm so happy for you. Like, are you going to see her again? <sighs> yeah, I don't know, dude. She just didn't seem gaslighty enough. Do you know what I mean? She just didn't seem crazy enough. Like, 
I was kind of, she kept talking, you know, about how much she loves her family and how much she volunteers and that, you know, that she, you know, rescues animals. And, you know, I'm just like, this is the, it's giving you, okay. It's giving a little bit too much you. And I'm looking for something like lie to me. Okay. Like make me question my own behavior a little bit. Like, make me question if you are actually mentally stable as a person. Then we'll talk. Then we're going to actually see if we can forge a real connection. Because I'm not getting any fire from this. Okay, talk about your ex a little bit maybe more. Okay, talk about how your ex was crazy. Now we're starting to get somewhere. So yeah, just all that kind of just made me really uninterested. It's like people are mistaking boring for just people being themselves and being just genuine and authentic. <laughs> Oh, man. Next one comes from Big Imagination 3038. Sorry, folks. I'm a little sick. That was probably nasty. Uh, certain people's voices and the way they can sound can irritate the hell out of me. You know what just drives me up the freaking wall? When people start talking, that just fucking makes me so mad. It's like, I'll see a cute girl... You know, I'm like, damn, like, this girl is, she's cute as hell, you know, she looks like she's, you know, she's, she looks like she's my type, go up to her, and it's just, as soon as I hear, hear words out of her mouth, I'm just like, I didn't know I was getting into all that, all right, I didn't know I was, I didn't, like, I... I, I, I didn't know I was getting myself in for, for an entire conversation right now. Is that what we're doing? You know, I thought we were just going to skip to the, you know, if you know what I'm saying. Like, when, when did when did dating become talking? Okay? When did, when did finding, you know, a partner, a future partner become having conversations? What does the world come to nowadays? Can't we just, like, can't I just, like, we just exchange brain information? Can't we just compare TikTok algorithms together, Instagram real algorithms, and we just see how well our algorithms match up, and that'll tell us, you know, we don't even need to talk. I can just send you memes all day. I can just send you Instagram reels all day, and that chat log will be our conversation. We don't need to be talking. That's Talking is, what is this, 1800? People don't talk anymore. I'm not trying to write the Gettysburg address. All right. This isn't the, you know, I'm not, we're not writing the constitution here. No talking. If, if I'm going forward in a relationship, just no talking, no voices. Nothing gets me, oh, nothing gives me the ick like someone's voice. Just anyone, you know, as soon as it's just uh, uh, immediately, if you're, if you're just like, Hey, uh, Oh my God, so great to see. Oh my God, get away from me. I can't even look at you. I actually can't even look. Like, I'm gonna, I already puked in my mouth. Now I'm, now I can't, I can't hold it back in my mouth anymore. I'm not gonna give myself that taste twice. Okay, this is not happening. (laughs) That's crazy. But I mean, yeah, I'm picking on you, but uh, (laughs) I could see what you mean though. I feel like I, you know, no, there, yeah, I definitely have met people And their voices are like, it's like, how did you, how did it, do you always talk like that? It's like, yeah, what do you mean? I've always been, what do you mean talking like that? I've always been talking like this my entire life. Really? I mean, are you sure you weren't, like, some people had actually, oh, no, 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 no. This brings up an interesting little, there is a person that I know who in my in my, throughout my university classes and experience has such a like valley girl type accent. It's like, well, I'm like, yo, like, I don't think I've actually ever been like physic felt like a physical reaction to a person's voice the way that I react to this person's voice. It is just infuriating it's like can you talk normal please like pronounce the words you're saying 
and we can actually like it's i can't sometimes i couldn't even understand the content of what this person was trying to say because i couldn't get past the voice the sound of the voice it was just like you could have literally solved string theory right now you could have found the the you could have uh, found a way to adjust the cosmological constant of the universe and i would have had no idea what you were talking like just i have would have had zero clue about the content of what you're talking you could have told me the strategic way to end world hunger and i would it would have gone right over my head i wouldn't have been able to get past the voice it's just that's that's how bad it was and I'm not trying to pick on, but it was like, holy crap. You all, I swear, would have been, would have been just shaking. Olha o contra-ataque aí. Vem que vem o time avançando rápido pela linha de campo. Bola dominada no pé do camisa 10. Ele vai pra cima, passou pelo primeiro, passou pelo segundo. E bateu a grande área, vai chutar. Bateu, é gol! Que golaço, minha gente! A experiência de futebol mais autêntica já criada para os games. Junte-se no 5v5 Rush, a nova maneira de jogar com os amigos e leve seu clube para a vitória. E a Esportes FC 25, dê tudo pelo clube, já disponível. Interrompemos esse podcast para perguntar, quem você quer ser? Designer, engenheira, pedagoga, administrador. Quer saber? O Senac EAD é a nota máxima no MEC. Tem cursos de diversas áreas, com conteúdo elaborado por especialistas do mercado e professores mestres e doutores. Ainda tem o Senac Carreiras, conectando estudantes a vagas de emprego em todo o país. Saiba mais em iad.senac.br graduação. Um, next one comes from Robbery Strawberry. Oh, that's kind of cool. But finally, a nice, cool, you know... So many of many of the usernames on Reddit are so sexually related. It, it's like really do we like why? Do we have to go here? No one brought it here. Um, I once received a topless picture from a guy I dated at at the time. Below the picture, he typed, "This is called pure strength and force, Kitty." <laughs> I don't even know what's worse. The way he flexed his muscles, very cringy. And the, or the message he sent, or the fact that he called me Kitty. It's even worse in my first language. Oh, man. That's just... Can we... No one... I don't think there's a single person out there who's looking to actively be someone else's Discord kitten. Can we just put that out there right now? It's a joke, I understand, but... I think we also need to let's get let's let's bring some reality into the situation. Discord kittens, it's a dude using a voice changer app. It's a 40-year-old, you know, guy who probably hasn't left the chair, his gaming chair. It's got a toilet attached to the gaming chair and just feeding him. He that's 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 the Discord kitten. All right, he's the he is your Reddit mod. He's your Discord kitten. He's playing all the roles. He's exact doing what exactly what he set out to do. But I don't. I just is, can you really be confident in that message that you're sending? It's like fuck yeah. You know what she's gonna love if I call her a kitten. Mm, yeah, it's like. Bro, I, I think she's going to call the cops. Like, that's creepy. I, I just, where is this coming from? I don't understand where this, where where your, your inspiration to call someone a cat is going to be, like, I, is, you think someone's going to find that flattering? You're so sexy, you remind me of a cat. <laughs> like, what? Ew gross like that sounds disgusting why that's you why do you why no one nothing should remind you of cats are supposed to be like they're animals okay this we're supposed they're supposed to be like comforting like empathetic cute and 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 not at all sexual at all it's an animal we're not like we're that's the we can we not we don't need to do that we don't need to go there. That seems that seems like we're on the path to something, you know, very illegal. 
I think that it's fine, you know. If, if it's just like it's it's when it's said in that way too, you know what I mean? It's that it's said in that like seductive like Kima Discord kitten. It's not like it's a nickname, like a pet name, you know, like oh what's going on, kitty? Like you know, like oh cute kitty, you know, whatever. It's not it, it, that that's like you know that people have pet names for each other all the time, birdie, all that kind of stuff. That that's fine, but it's it's I would never go and turn that around and be like. I want to be with you, Birdie. I want you. Like, oh, I'm, I feel threatened. I, I, I feel very, yeah. And it's, it's flexing the muscles too. Come on, bro. Like, there's no way this dude was even jacked either. He's got the, you know, the, the skinny, the skinny boy, you know, muscles there and, He's, he's probably got like a, he's just at that age where he's like, well, you know, I'm not super jacked, but I've got this massive tattoo of an eagle across my chest. So maybe that'll stick out. Eagle, you know, and then I got right, right, right under my rib cage, I've got discord kitten tattooed. Who's gonna, could be yours, could be yours, babe, all yours. That's disgusting. Next one comes from obliging squid three. Honestly, if they breathe or sl- or eat or swallow too loud, I cannot handle it. It's petty, I know, but I can't do the rest of my life listening to someone I can't do the rest of my life listening to someone breathe like a 70-year-old man asleep on a chair or chew or swallow like a cow. <laughs> what? I mean, that one is like you know, so so oh, it's it's great to meet you. Um you know, this has been our, you know, uh, well, it's great to see you again. This has been, you know, a couple dates now. And I, I just want to know where you're feeling with us. And I feel like things are going really well. And maybe we could take it to the next step. Yeah. Um, about that. I, I think we're going to have to cut this relationship off right now. Um, you know, it was fine. Everything was fine. And then you started talking and your voice. I just was like, who sounds like that? Who sounds like that? You it's like you have a it's like you're actually trying to use your own vocal cords. Like what the hell is wrong with you first of all? Second of all, um eating? Really? Did you really think that we like did you really think you could be eating? Is that something you thought like you were going to just like I I understand like you trying to do that up front, okay? Because you maybe you couldn't get away with that the whole relationship. You like but seriously, you're just Right on the first date, you're just going to eat. Second date, you're just going to eat. Like, right in front of me. It's like, well, I mean, that's kind of what you do. I mean, that's what people do. We order, we get dinner. That's like a date. That's kind of the quintessential date. It, I mean, we're human beings. We need to eat food. Yeah, but it's just like, eating is kind of just off the table for me. Eating's off the table. Uh, drinking, I saw you drink, you know, you're taking drinks of your, your glass of water, like, how old are you, five, you're drinking, can we not, like, move past that, that's, you need to get a little bit more mature here, and the last thing, and I honestly, seriously can't believe that you did this on our date, but you were, the whole time, the whole time, from when I saw you to when the date was over, you were literally breathing. <laughs> like you were you were breathing like mouth, nose, the whole thing. You were just like seriously, you didn't think I was gonna notice that? You, you didn't think I was just gonna notice the the circulation of air coming in and out of your lungs through your mouth and your nose? This is just like who do you think I am? I'm you actually think I'm gonna be with somebody like you who eats, drinks, and worst of all breathes this is just ridiculous i'm way better than this i i can't believe you'd even even contemplate doing something like that on our date i just i have i've lost all respect for you i cannot i cannot with a conscious mind go into a relationship thinking that you're capable of such just disgusting habits okay um disgusting habits um 
you know, there's a lot of disgusting habits. There's a lot of disgusting habits. You know, maybe not cleaning up after yourself after you eat or in the bathroom. You know, maybe you maybe you leave your shavings or your toenail clippings in places or that's a that's a nasty habit. I don't know if I'd put those in the same category as breathing or eating, you know, or drinking for that matter. It's like you sleep. <laughs> what is this? 2004? You're sleeping? Okay, this is it g- wake up. Time to wake up. It's literally 2024 right now. You should not be sleeping. It is about the grind set. Okay, wake up. It's it's just direct uh, injections of methamphetamines and and Adderall, whatever you can pump into your system, and it's just it's 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 come on, you gotta produce, you gotta function. It's 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 about what you can produce and pump out. All right, it is all about marketing. It's all about the brand, life brand. What's your brand of life? Okay, it's just you're not bringing the the hustle to your life sleeping eight hours of sleep really doc oh it's doctor recommended oh you can go insane if you don't do it oh yeah give me a break okay like i guess guess those doctors yeah obviously they're sleep doctors because they couldn't grind hard enough to be cool doctors about something cool and interesting sleep for the, what, what a weak what a weak human being but I, I i am exaggerating <laughs> this i hope everybody knows that but i i I do have to admit, I have a thing about about chewing noises when it's in a quiet environment. Like if there's no background noise and I'm like sitting and listening to somebody eat or chew food, it's I'm not going to get the ick from them, but it's just it could be anyone. But I definitely get a little a little irritated, a little agitated. It's just that sound. It's too particular. I am the last fan of ASMR that exists on planet Earth. Like if it was between repopulating the human the human race but all i had to do was listen to a asmr youtube video i mean i hope that there's aliens out there i hope that there's another species of conscious being out there in the universe because humans ain't making it I'm telling you that right friggin now uh next one comes from michael v terrible texting slash grammar if i receive this hey bb what's good you trying to hang out tonight question mark question mark exclamation mark exclamation mark question mark i'm no longer interested in not replying i mean i don't know if that's yeah that's kind of petty that's kind of petty some people are just you know that's the way that they text i mean it depends it depends bad grammar mistakes like bad ones egregious grammar mistakes then it's like okay yeah it's not can't say that that's attractive you know when 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 someone's you know spelling definitely defiantly but you know what it's fine i'm not gonna it's maybe they're a cool person i don't know i haven't met them so i can't i can't be too judgmental but it depends. I feel like if maybe this person's talking more about what they're texting com- combined with how they're texting. It's like, what you doing type person. I don't really think anybody's like too th- overly thrilled to get, you know, that kind of text from somebody like, you know, and it's like that late night, what you doing? It's like, yeah, I don't, not this. We're, this isn't happening we're not gonna we're not gonna do this it's not we're not gonna we're not this we're not gonna happen this isn't gonna happen next one comes from junior joy he was from italy we live in eastern canada completed the last four-ish years of school together we started talking a few years after we both graduated and all he could talk about was his italian heritage but not in an interesting way more like i would ask him what's up and he would say making a pasta you know why because i'm italian and this would happen every single day. So he was just too Italian for me, I'm guessing. Well, again, we're just coming back to the to the dating advice. Don't be yourself. Okay, we're just it's going to circle back to this till the end of time. 
you want to get a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a partner, just don't be you. That's how, like, if you're Italian, fucking forget it, man. Like, you're not Italian anymore. You are not Italian. You are nothing. You are a void of ethnicity and and background and culture human being. You are just a you're just a, a smooth vessel. That's all you are for carrying information. That's that's it. Nothing about Italy. I don't want you to be Italian. No. No, that's <laughs> that is I do understand what the person's saying though. I'm just I'm exaggerating making a joke, but I do I do I understand. Like if someone is all they could talk about the fact is the fact that they're like Polish, I'd be like I mean, that's cool, but like it's it's interesting, but like, you know, what do you want to like do? Like like what do you or what do you like to do for fun? Uh, for fun. Wow, that's ooh. Uh. I don't know. I guess being Polish is probably up there for me, really, you know, it's just being Polish. So I I really love being Polish. That's just nothing's more fun to just for me than to just hang out and just be Polish. That's kind of what I'm all about. That's kind of my whole whole thing. It's just Yeah, yeah, okay, but like other than being Polish, like what do you like to you know, what do you like to do in your free time? <laughs> I I mean uh... I don't want to be rude here, but I feel like we just keep having the same conversation. I'm Polish. What do you not understand? That's what I do in my free time. I'm. I'm what, what, what do you want me to? What do you want me to say? I'm freaking Polish. Like, what's the deal? Like, are, they just, are you stupid? I, I'm not gonna cu- keep coming back to this. Okay, I can't be in a relationship with someone who's an idiot. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna be straight up. That is kind of wild, though, that everything is about them being Italian. Like, is Italy that... Like, I mean, Italy's cool, but is it, like, that? Are we... Are we... Are we really going to be that, like, crazy about Italy? I mean, yeah, it seems like a cool place, but, like, you know, it's... it's There's a lot of cool places. That's Italy is, happens to be one of them. That's very interesting. And you can't You can't just make Italy your whole personality. What happens when push comes to shove? It's, you know, what happens when you're in a situation where you need a moral compass and then you're just thinking to yourself, well, I am Italian, so... It's like, it's, it's like, the, it's like the, someone's about to get murdered right in front of you and you can, you know, step in, in front of the bullet and you're just like, what would an Italian do? <laughs> I mean, I mean, why, why, does it, why are we limiting it to Italians? Why can't we just say what, what would a person do? in this situation. I mean, Italians are people too. I, I don't really think Italians are going to behave super differently than, than any other person, you know, in that type of situation. I don't really think everything needs to reduce down to the fact that you're, you're an Italian. Yeah. You know, I know it's my turn to drive on the road trip, but you gotta let me think this one over. I, 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 I I'm Italian. So I just, you know, I got to I don't know, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I'm up to drive, I'm just, I, I'm Italian, and that's, you know, I gotta, I just gotta think about it, gotta think about, you know, my Italian heritage, it's like, what does that have to do with anything, we, we need you to drive this leg of the trip, man, everyone's exhausted, you're the only person who hasn't driven, like, it's, it, we're, like, I, Matt, Matty fell asleep at the wheel, like, it's time for you to drive. I'm in no condition to drive. I just pulled off the 12-hour shift before that driving. I get that. Listen, I understand. But it's like, you know, I'm... I'm literally Italian. What do you want me to tell you? I, what do you want me to say? I'm a spaghetti. Like, it's a, I'm Italian, bro. It's just, like, have some freaking sympathy and understanding for me, dude. Where's the empathy at, dog? What? How's... Where, where did we get on this? Next one comes from Cheap Tig. This was years ago, but I, I would swipe left on any dude holding an iPhone without a case on it because I didn't need that kind of stress in my life. Okay, folks, I'm about to drop some serious, serious, serious news. I don't have a case on my phone. I know, I know, I know. Everyone's going to flame me for this. Everyone's going to flame me up saying, yo, Luke, What's the deal with your bum ass not having a case on your phone? I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, but I just, I don't know what it is, really. I just think it's like, eh, they make the phones look all super nice, and then we just throw cases on them. I mean, I sound like a total idiot right now. Like, it's like, yeah, to freaking protect them, because they're thousands of dollars, super valuable, and they could just be broken, and you would lose everything in a moment's notice if you didn't have a case on your phone. It's like, you know what, though? It's, it's about the aesthetic for me. It's about the 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 art, artistic nature of the iPhone. It is about the fact it's Steve Jobs. It just comes back to Steve Jobs. What would Steve Jobs say? Right? If he wanted a case on the iPhone, he would have designed it that way, and he didn't. So, I hope you guys know I'm not being serious. I'm playing a caricature of myself, but that is unfortunately me. I I may have given I think I I have arisen a lot of concerning attitudes in people that I've met in the past because they'll be like I'll meet them and I'll whip up my phone and they'll be like you don't have a case on your phone and I'm like yeah yeah I don't and you know what I'm not gonna get one you know I'm not gonna fall in to the trap of putting a case on my phone because everyone here says that I should put a case on it okay I'm not putting a case on my phone for anyone that's a principle I think I think people should be impressed you know, I hold my principles very dear and dearly and close to me. You know, I don't, I don't treat people poorly. You know, I, I, I'm a stand-up citizen. I don't put a case on my phone, and that's final. Okay, it's, it just, it's just, I, I, I think of it as a virtuous thing. I think people should be proud of me. Haven't broken it. Yeah, it's got a little scratches. Got a couple little scratches here and there, but, but that's life. You know, that's that's life. Circumstances are scratches and scratches, folks. We can't avoid it. Like we can't avoid it like like time. It just it happens. It's going to happen. So we kind of have to embrace it. You know, and I'm I will very reluctantly pay another $1000 for a brand new phone, so. Yeah. My my logic is solid on this one. I have everything going going for me on that on that argument um let's read off one more uh <laughs> let's read off one more uh last one comes from maddie claire 87 i asked them how they were doing and they said hashtag blessed <laughs> hashtag blessed could you not just have ended it at you know i'm blessed you know or i'm doing blessed like i feel blessed right now i feel good i feel great you know, I'm, I, I feel that the universe has put everything I've ever wanted or needed right in front of me. And I've just, you know, had to put out the right focus and determination to go in and, and achieve those types of things, the opportunities laid out in front of me. And, and it's, uh, I'm, I feel incredibly blessed uh, and, and I'm, I feel so thankful to the universe and to, to life itself for, for giving me with these opportunities. And, you know, it's just hashtag blessed really at the end of the day it's just hashtag sick hashtag freaking i'm freaking awesome hashtag hashtag amazon level achievements okay this is it's just uh, so any any uh any words we just heard that uh that uh, your mother prominent figure has just passed away do you have any words to say about that hashtag somber Freaking hashtag somber right now. I can't even. I'm hashtag devastated. I'm, you know, I'm hashtag confused. I'm, I'm hashtag depressed. I'm hashtag. I, I'm hashtag hashtag lost for words. I know that's kind of contradictory to the per the point of a hashtag, but I just can't even. I don't know. You'll see all of these in my next Instagram post about my mom under the description. You'll see all these hashtags. So in case you want any of them, you know, or curious what they are, or want to start a trend, I'll be hashtagging them in my next Instagram and Twitter post. Okay, folks, we're going to end the podcast there for today. Uh, thank you all so much for tuning into another episode of the Red Asks Us podcast, the podcast where read, read, and react to comments from r slash ask Reddit. I am your host, Luke Dick. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, Please, please, please leave us a rating and also leave us a review. You can go ahead and do that. Remember to respond to this week's episode's question 
uh, in Spotify in the description of the episode. And go, please go ahead and answer the would you rather and join our subreddit, r slash reddit asks us. I love each and every single one of you. Peace out. Love you. Goodbye.